fast. Hey, how about those Texas Longhorns, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, you talked about a big upset. Uh huh. That, that was. Listen to, listen to David Baylor Bear over there. We didn't have any over the Waco. What's that? Uh, upset. Upsets. Upsets. Alabama's pretty. Alabama, uh, Alabama, though, I think they were surprised. You see where they put the Texas Longhorn fan? In Knoxville, I believe. I think they were in another state almost. That's a big stadium. And it's that is a gigantic right. state. And they were at the very top. Apparently, that was retaliation for what they did. Uh, yeah, I heard after. that. Uh, that's what the word was. That's that what it was said. quid pro quo of some sort. Yeah. But I don't know. Such, such it is over rivalries. Oh, yeah. All right, 23CR947 is called. You are Mr. Ba uh, Jamad? Yes, bon sir. What's Brandon, Brandon. Brandon. Jamad Bontai? Yeah. And you were present with Mr. West, your attorney. Does the defendant waive a formal reading of the indictment and arraignment here? Can we proceed in sum? Yes, Your Honor. In summary, even though there are two uh, paragraphs here, we're only going on paragraph one. Yes. Which keeps you from looking at a five to life imprisonment. You say what? Yeah, because it's you're looking at it. It's nice and third degree. That's two to ten. I ain't looking at no five to life. It's two to uh, it's second, this is a, it's a, third degree. a second degree felony. Yeah. It's, it's actually a, it's a, a third degree. Four. You're, you're interrupting. It's a, it's a second degree, Your Honor, with the uh, prior, it could be a first degree. And we're, we're going up. Uh, uh, our agreement was the five over 10, Your Honor, limited to the five years of DVC. Uh, okay. The first paragraph. Five probation officers. Oh, yeah, I apologize. You right. The first paragraph alleges a second degree felony of assault on a peace officer, right? Yes, Your Honor. And then the second paragraph, which they are abandoning, is a burglary of a habitation conviction, which would have enhanced it to a first degree felony. That's correct, Your Honor. All right, so we're only going on the second degree felony. Yes. In summary, and we agree to go in summary and yes, waive sir. a formal read. We do, Your Honor. In summary, the indictment alleges that on or about June 25th, 2023, in Jefferson County, Texas, you committed the second degree felony of assault on a peace officer. Do you understand what you were charged with? Yes, sir. This is a second degree felony if convicted, which means you face a term of not more than 20 years or less than two years in prison. In addition, a fine may be assessed not to exceed $10,000. Do you understand? You say to the Yes, sir, I understand. Yes. An agreement's been reached where you would be sentenced to, is that a five? Uh, that didn't look like a five. I'm gonna write it. The Arabic number system. We're going to do this. Yeah. The agreement is you would be sentenced to five years in prison. That would be suspended. You would be placed on 10 years regular probation. Is that your understanding of the agreement? It was supposed to be five and five, but I, I yeah, it was supposed to be five years probation. Right now. Let me just say five this. Years at, at the end of the day, it's uh, the length of probation. Y'all can agree on probation, and if I accept that, the length of probation is my decision solely. Yes. But I listen to the folks, and I'll listen. Sometimes I do less, sometimes I, uh, but most times it's 10. Here's why. You do well. Are you going to do well on probation? Yes, sir. Then I can shorten it in a third, which is how long? Three and a third years. That's cool. It, it, we, are you going to be the one? I'm, I'm confused, yes, sir. Because I do it all the time for people who do well on probation. There's no reason to keep yes, on sir. probation for 10 years if you're doing well. We got we got too many 5,000 people on probation. We don't need that. Yes, sir. All right, so that's our agreement. Yes, Five sir. years. And, and actually, this says here the following non-binding recommendation. It's non-binding because it's my call. Is... <clears throat> Probation for ten years. No, that's not. Yes, sir. He's flashing some kind of. I time promise you, no, it's not, sir. I he's understand. Time is done. I promise you. He's right. doing something. All right. I understand. I'm. Sorry. I apologize. Hey, look, oh, don't make a fool out of this court because all I've got to do is say 
forget it. Let a jury decide. Yes, and sir. you're not eligible for probation yes, sir. with a prior conviction. I, I can't understand that you would be uh, that foolish to do that. Yes, sir. I understand you want to miss John and doing Stephen Scott. If I follow this agreement, you have no right of appeal of your case. Do you understand? Yes, sir. How do you plead to this second degree felony, assault on a peace officer, guilty or not guilty? <clears throat> guilty. Are you pleading guilty voluntarily? Voluntarily. And because you are guilty? Yes, sir. Show you what's marked as States Exhibit 1. Did you sign that voluntarily? Yes, did yes. you understand it? Discuss it with your attorney. Are the contents all true and correct? And true, yes, sir. States Exhibit 1 tendered into evidence. No objection. Without objection admitted. Among other things, this states you were mentally competent to enter your guilty plea, which is freely and voluntarily made. You know what you've been charged with. The indictment's been read to you. You've read it. You were guilty of the crime charged and any lesser included offenses. You were giving up your rights to a jury trial, the right to the appearance, confrontation, cross-examination of witnesses. You were totally satisfied with the representation provided by your lawyer. All of this is true. It states, so help you God. Is that so? Yes, sir. States Exhibit 1 is made a part of the record for all purposes. Is a pre-sentence report waived here? I would press that, yes. Yes. If nothing further to add by anybody, I'm going to find you are pleading guilty today voluntarily. You are mentally competent to do so. You understand and appreciate the consequences of pleading guilty. Yes, There's sir. sufficient evidence supporting your guilty plea from States Exhibit 1 admitted in this hearing to find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And I so find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of the second degree felony. I'm following this, this agreement. You were hereby sentenced to confinement in the institutional division of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice to serve a term of five years. Uh, that term of confinement is uh, suspended. You were placed on regular probation uh, for 10 years. There is no fine here? No, no, no restitution no, here? No, no. Okay, here. I've signed those uh, documents. If you fail to follow your probation, your probation can be revoked. You can be sentenced up to five years in prison. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Anything else? Not from us. That is all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, go up this time. Thank you all so much.